Hello, everybody. My name is Chad Castle from Acoustic Sounds, and today we have Jan from Germany online to to clarify and clear up some some uh, something that's been going around on the internet. Jan, I I've been getting a lot of calls from people all over asking me about there's a rumor going around that Speaker's Corner is going out of business. What? Well, it's funny that you're asking me because you're actually the first person to come to me and we have been the global distributor for Speaker's Corner since April of last year, but it seems nobody thought to contact us. And we've been selling many, many thousands of their LPs every month, but hey, that's the world. So um, we actually heard the same rumor earlier this morning when we got an email from Christiane at Speaker's Corner it's like, Jan, have you heard this funny rumor? People are saying we're closing down. And that's complete BS, so you don't have to put that. And we checked on the internet and we found a, a, a Steve Hoffman forum where people were discussing they were closing. And we entered like, guys, this is like completely wrong, but felt mostly ignored. We actually found a video on YouTube where people seemingly without any evidence whatsoever discussed yeah it's difficult for the small labels yeah it is and now well they need to go out of business and close down because there's no more licenses and i was like what are you talking about and one of the people in this video was actually from germany and they didn't contact us and they didn't contact speakers corner so it is Fake news, as they would say in US politics, because <laughs> we took over Speaker's Corner in April of last year. And truth be said, they picked an excellent time to stop distributing themselves and giving it to ZV King Sound as a global distributor, because they had just been through the pandemic. Their stores were depleted. They had very little to sell at all or to transfer to us. It was very difficult to get pro uh, products from the palace pressing plant. It was even difficult to get jackets manufactured. And if you could get them, they'd be at a premium price. So when we took it over, I think it was eight speakers corner titles that were in stock and available in limited quantity. But then something changed and that was the palace pressing plant added new pressing machines and lost a large customer and suddenly they were interested in producing for speakers corner again even though and we need to be truthful about that speakers corner pressings are not selling by the megatons okay they make repressings for 500 thousand sometimes something like 1200 it's not huge numbers and typically pressing plants are not happy with small production runs because it's a lot of work but they managed to get a lot of these small production runs for their repressings for the popular titles and also for the less popular titles because they've got some really good classical stuff in there as well and well truth be told i checked today from the eight titles we used to have, we are now to 122 titles that we do have in stock for international sales. And there is no day where we don't sell them. We've got like a rolling quarterly forecast of what needs to be reproduced. We are getting titles back in stock that had already been discontinued because there still is a demand. So whoever put out the rumor that they're going away, he was really, really bored. And there must be enough people in forums who that, wow, this is something great to talk about. A demise of a small label. Let's jump on it. Yeah, well, you know, it's good to hear that it's not true. But, you know, with all the other crazy things that's been going on in the last year, uh, I, I, I didn't want to believe it. I mean, I, I got a bunch of calls like really quick and I'm like, man, I didn't hear anything about this. And man, that. I don't think that's true. And if it is, you know, if it is, I'll be very surprised. But let me call the horse, you know, get it out the horse's mouth, you know. And, and, yeah. and if I was a smarter businessman, 
or simply yeah. more greedy. I would have go gone for the Gordon Gecko and told Chad, you know, Speaker's Corner is in deep trouble. We are in deep trouble. You want to buy the whole inventory at a good price? You can have the whole inventory in the world. I would have made a killing, but just yeah. that's just not me. <laughs> Well, like I said, you know, like I got the call, then I got a couple more calls and they were from serious people, serious people I know, and they seemed pretty serious. And uh, they weren't from just anybody. They were from, you know, some of the important people, the YouTubers and um, I'm like, hey, you know, let me check on this because you know, the worst thing is, you know, repeating false information or spreading uh, bad rumors. And uh, so it's like, yeah, what what do you do? You call the source and ask him. And I was glad to hear that's not the case. Also, it was very interesting to know that y'all were down to eight titles and up to 122. That's amazing. And, you know, we all went through that craze rush of vinyl sales and not being able to get on the press. And you just have to dig yourself out of that hole. And I would say eight to 122, y'all, uh, there's a lot of progress was made. And uh, we love Speaker's Corner. We always have. I've been selling Speaker's Corner for 30 years. I've been dealing with Kai. He's one of the the people that believe in analog and uh, analog all the way. And I know his process. I know the mastering engineers he's used, Kevin Gray, uh, you know, and William Mackey and and uh, these these other great uh, famous engineers. He's been doing it right. Right, right. And then using Palace and, you know, uh, you know, we've had a long, long relationship and I've been selling for over 30 years. So it's like, I was hoping it to be wrong. Um, you know, I know that things change now and, uh, you know, he wants you to be his distributor and handle the day-to-day -day sales, which I can understand. He's been doing it a long time. And uh, yeah, well, you know, see, you need to get the right picture there. Uh, the speaker's corner um, has always been a small operation. Many of the LPs they shipped worldwide, they packed themselves or with a help or two. And if you get in a large order and it's for 2000 LPs, you're happy at the first moment. But if it's 2000 LPs with 60 different titles, you spend the better part of a day just packing it and then recounting it, putting it on pallets, shrink wrapping it, and getting the paperwork for international sales done before somebody can pick it up for air cargo. And then you got to babysit the shipment because it never goes through smoothly. And that's part of the process. And Kai is, well, what we would call in Germany, retirement age. And they got grandkids they want to take care of. And they got a sailboat they want to use more often. And for them, it was just perfect timing. You can stay in the business, continue to do what you do really well, and somebody else does all the distribution work, gets the emails, gets the returns once in a while because the label is off center, and simply takes care of everyday business. So it has been a great arrangement. Well, we actually had to get a larger warehouse to make it possible because we knew how much stuff they would be coming. Hey, you know, I mean, listen, you know, we, we all work hard. He's been doing it a long time. I've been doing it with him a long time. Hopefully one day I'll be able to, um, to go sailing with him and, and, and go sailing myself, you know, right now, I need about five more years because we're in the middle of some some heavy duty, serious stuff. And but I I understand. I'm I'm happy for him. I'm happy to have been knowing him since the beginning. I'm happy that you're continuing on and helping him continue this because we need great records. We need great analog records. A lot of our customers that's what they want. You know they if if they want. You know they can buy uh, CDs or SACDs. We sell a lot of those if they want yeah. the SD. But a lot of them like 
to, to to know the the you know that everything came off the analog tapes and uh we need more labels like that so it was uh you know i was i, I mean i when i when i got the questions i thought well it's possible i i I wasn't told, I didn't know, you know, so I had, when you don't know, you call the source, you know, you don't call other people that don't know. And so, well, so I, Jack, you're a lot smarter than people give you credit for it because you did the smart <laughs> thing. <laughs> well, I mean, why, when you, when you got the, the, the guys in charge cell numbers, you know, and you can just call them and like, on the second ring, you answered, and within two minutes of dialing you, I had my my answer, and it was the, a good answer. And I thought, hey, you know what? Let's let's just uh, let everybody know that this ain't true, and they can look forward to to more years of of Speaker's Corner. And you know, I, I'm not. I should have checked in to see how many we have in stock, but hey, you know. We got plenty of speakers corner in stock. If you want to order them, we uh, this isn't going to be a, a video that we're going to leave on the internet long. You know, we're going to put this up for a week or two, and then we'll just take it down because it's more of like uh, just uh, current information, not educational it's out information. Of misinformation. Yeah, we're just trying to uh, silence the misinformation and. You know, with the internet and the YouTube, it's just like anything. It can be a great tool, but it can also be, um, it's got its downsides. And it's just kind of like the news. I think that maybe people want to um, want to report the news. And a lot of times the news talks Neg about negative things, you know, and uh, so I'm happy to hear that to me it's a positive thing. We've been knowing you for a long time, and uh, we're confident, we're happy that we're going to be still be getting speakers corner for a while, and that the rumor yeah. ain't true. And and how did you say you can't always believe anything you, you see on YouTube or the internet, you know? You know, what I would like to see on YouTube instead is people going to YouTube, holding up their CD, SA CD, LP, whatever, and say, this is a music that changed my life, and I'll tell you why. That is a story I want to know. Not something terrible happened. <laughs> well, listen, I appreciate you answering my call and your willingness to, to uh, get the story straight. And, uh, you know, again, we'll just put this up for a little little while and uh then, then we'll we'll take it down because uh i think uh just need to to uh squash this bug before it you know gets any bigger and uh just let people know the truth and again i like i mean like for Calling instance that. yeah and and uh if they want any speakers corner go to acoustic if you're in europe you know, buy it from Jan. Go to your local retailer. They'll buy from your us. Local retail in Germany, and uh, or Europe, and uh, or America, whoever you choose to buy your records from. But uh, anyway, hey, thanks for taking the call. Thanks for for giving me the good news that there ain't no bad news, and uh, and it's all good, man. And uh, here's to the next next thirty years. Uh no, 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 no. You got to retire before that. And me too. <laughs> well, here's to the next years ahead. Very good. All right. Have a good day, Jack. All right. Thank you, Jan. Bye-bye.